It's been a couple of weeks since we looked at ADA, and I think it's time to do it again. I am your host, The Cowboy, and this is Elliot Wave Cafe. We are on the 13th of April, is it Wednesday? And let's jump straight onto it. So we're looking at this move in here as a corrective decline in a second wave. Uh, we're starting to get early confirmation that the second wave could be complete, uh, but we don't have enough just yet, right? It starts to look pretty good. I'll show you here in a second, but this wave too could actually extend lower. So we gotta be very cognizant of that, all right? Let's, let's, let's clear something out right off the bat. You will not know uh, that the correction is finished until you're actually starting to overtake a lot of this larger swing levels out, like this couple of X waves, and you, you're going to start to make new highs in here. But we're starting to get, we're starting to get confirmation of, of, of a low in here, and, and uh, we're going to be watching what happens in this decline. So if I'm going back here to a um, couple of, uh, maybe more than almost four weeks ago, um, when we looked at this it was on March 21st, whatever, whatever that was, but this was the first time that we looked at this issue. And, uh, you know, we looked at this as a second wave low and then we tried to talk, uh, um, you know, this market and explain kind of what some of the ways that this could unfold. And, and one of them that I, you know, had, had pretty decent confidence in was the fact that this was, uh, uh, you know, a pretty important move of the lows with a little bit of a pullback, retest the lows and then a failure and then a continuation higher, which was going to lead to a rally towards the top of this channel. Then once you get towards the top of that channel, you're probably going to get a little bit of a pullback uh, to digest that move and create more of an inverted head and shoulder followed by a break to the upside. So go ahead and check that video. That's on March 21st. I walked you through my thought process. I walked you to kind of what's going on with this decline, just so you can kind of see how ADA moved since this 310 highs. Then the next time we look at this thing was not that long ago. It's March 30th. So, you know, a couple of weeks ago already. And uh, at that time... Um, ADA was trying to break to the top of this channel and at the time I was trying to uh, uh, you know come up with this drawing in here to kind of see what I'm looking for uh, moving further if this low here it's already in place and uh, you know we've gotten this impulse to the top of the channel just like I know what we thought about and uh, uh, you know th then we were expecting a little bit of a pullback so I think so far we've been able to identify the moves in the market which is kind of what you want to see and what you want to do uh, because based on this you know you're changing your views or you know you're trading or you're adapting your uh, your methodology you know your, your your count to 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 make sure that you're still on the right path right things change in Elliott wave all the time and and you have to constantly uh, go through it and make sure that the narrative is still there whatever you assign uh, as a count it's still valid and it's still available so so far um, starting from uh, let's say March 21st going back to March 30th our uh, uh, assumptions here were correct and the market was following what we think it was going to happen what we thought it was going to happen so here we are to the present day where we're actually getting this pullback in here towards almost 90 cents so so far so good this starts to look like uh you know if you're if you're paying attention to it and i'm sure you already you already know what i'm going to say i've talked to this uh, i've talked to the members in this in, in the pro room this morning about it as well that we're starting to get this inverted head and shoulder uh, i'm going to have a big uh, um, a live stream tomorrow uh, starting at about 6 30 with the members and we're going to take that for about an hour and a half we'll go through uh, through a bunch of altcoins and we'll go through uh, through bitcoin and and uh, you know some of the macro stuff and things like that just to kind of see where we are in the counts and 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 what I see exciting out there but I was talking about this this morning and and I'm going to repeat this here as well I mean you can look at this thing as a as a pretty clean resistance line as a pretty clean neckline you're having a little bit of a change in this downtrend in here you obviously broke above it so you change that direction uh, you're still in a downtrend from a higher time frame but you're starting to toy with those levels now the market was rejected right there it pulled back so now what we got to see we got to see that the market turns from here and it starts to break those levels right it starts to do something like that it could maybe come back and retest it and then push back up higher so um let's see how this would happen so if the second wave is done as part of the z wave and and you can argue you know if, if this is a perfect location for this uh, you know for this z wave this, this is an a that's a b um you know if this is a one two three four small four and a fifth in here you might have an ending diagonal in this in this wave c of z um if you want to place the z wave back in here then you know you're kind of stuck with the three wave advance in there 
um, you know, which is which is totally fine. But what that does kind of changes the structure because it pushes you into a one, two, one, two, and then you got to rip out of here. Still a bullish formation, right? But it gives you another subdivision. So if you're placing the wave too low a little bit to the right, and let's say that's the move that kind of terminated the Z wave, then you're having a wave one of the lows. That's the first impulse. This allows you to get a little bit, uh, you know, of a larger second wave, a little bit bigger and, and deeper, maybe even. Uh, and, and then that would allow you for a second with a break to the upside. Now, for me, the key level here is this 126.30. If we're breaking above that level, you know, it's very likely that this move could continue higher towards 163.80. And then if you break that level, this is what usually happens. So you go back up there, right? Then you break that one. And then you go back and you break this, right? And then once that happens, then you're doing this shoulder back and you're coming like that, right? And maybe you, come a little bit lower and you do a retest of that but that's kind of how that creates and then your new neckline from this neckline in here it's going back here right so now you have a double head and shoulders whatever for a lack of a better term there but it is uh it is uh you know it is a change in the direction of the market a change in the structure and what they usually tells you i mean this is an ideal scenario it might pan out or it might not you know but that's kind of what i would be looking for to see and and, and uh, you know digest as this market moves higher i don't want to get too excited oh ada is breaking 126.30 is going to the moon it's not that easy it's it's usually going to go and then going to come back a little bit retest some of these levels and then create maybe another second wave and only then you're going to break higher you're going to go back towards this resistance maybe that's a little bit higher back there and then you're going to pull back again and then now you have a little bit of a channel in here that you're kind of trading in and you're continuing to climb eventually attacking those highs so so be patient with this market i think um you know i think there's an opportunity here and um you know with a little bit of a you know with a you know, a little bit of a, of a smaller risk, I must say. I mean, this pullback here, it's, it's about a 618, maybe a bit more than kind of what we've had, uh, um, I mean, from these lows in here. So you have basically a minimal risk uh, if you're using this kind of 76, 7460, 7470 stop zone or below that, right? And then you're looking to enjoy a move all the way back up there. That's a pretty good risk reward for ADA at least to kind of begin something. Uh, but that's kind of what I was talking about this morning. And, and um, you know, this is something that I'm going to talk tomorrow as well and kind of see how this develops. But, you know, if you go back here to a six hour chart, I'm going to put a little bit of a fib in here and uh, let's go to the retracement tool. I'm going to go from these lows to these highs. And you can see in here you're stopping at about a 618. Now, some of the alts, you know, have had a little bit of a deeper pullback. Some of them are actually you know, almost retesting these lows. ADA hasn't done it so. It's still this move out of here, it's still very kind of corrective. So, you know, it might get a little bit more, more of a push lower, maybe one more time coming in here. And if you're looking at this pattern, um, you know, let's say that that's a one, two, one, two, three, four, and five, maybe four and five. Uh, and a failed fifth wave that's that's possible however uh, you know it is an impulsive move out of these out of these levels i mean it's pretty it's pretty clear that that's kind of what we're getting now the question is again uh, you know was this the end of the move or the end of the move because this is a third wave right there right that's your nice that's your nice third so you can go let's say one two three four five so maybe that's wave one that's wave two, so one, two, three, then you have a four, and then you have a five, right? So that's your wave one, and then you're doing maybe a three, three, and a large flat in a C wave, but that's too ugly, um, you know. However, you know, let's just look at it as a correction against this impulse, right, and see how it develops. If it's coming back lower towards 78.6, uh, you know, and, and you ever actually take that to the downside, then, then you know, you're running into a large risk of this level kind of, giving way and, and moving lower towards 70 cents. And, um, you know, I'll show you kind of how this looks. But again, the risk reward is pretty good. Uh, what I usually do in situations like this is I initiate a position here, maybe wait for a little bit of a confirmation for a push higher, but I initiate maybe a, um, you know, a quarter of a position or a half of a position. And if the market moves in my favor, I start to add, you know, if it's breaking lower, then you're not risking that much. And, uh, you know, you're willing to kind of get out of the move. If you want to wait for a break of this level out of here, then you're buying a breakout and you might end up, you know, with a little bit of pain on the next pullback. But at least then you're, you know, more 
uh, like I mean more 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 you're, you're better trading with the, in the direction of the trend right you you have more of a confirmation that actually you're moving to the upside and you're breaking 126 or 125 right and there are traders that do that and like that a little bit better than kind of buying on the pullbacks so one way for a confirmation that's another way of uh, of trading these patterns uh, and then I wanted to show you this in here um, you know which is you know which is a little bit of a of a sign that maybe the second wave is not over yet and you're still declining you're still trying to digest i mean this move has been has been you know very strong i mean you've gone from you know two cents to to almost three dollars jesus i mean this is a huge move you've corrected a little bit of it um and you know you've had a little bit of a rally right in there right you it got kind of got pushed back the, the lines that you're looking here are, are the MACD lines. So you're looking at the 12, you're looking at the 12, and you're looking at the 26, and that's what's kind of giving me the MACD uh, indicator back in here. And and you know I'm not going to go into you know what this all means, but basically those lines on the chart that's what they are. And right now we're getting rejected back at the 26, and we're getting pushed lower. So if this is a failed move, and you know these lows here are not holding, and, and instead of doing this. To the upside right just like i've showed you before you're actually breaking lower and it's very likely that you're going to continue to the downside and you're going to come all the way back somewhere back in here towards 38 percent of this move and this channel right will continue to the downside something like that so this will become uh, another failed move in here i'm going to go up here to a daily chart maybe a two day right and um you know kind of that's what we're watching to see if this is this is actually happening uh, but uh, this will become you know let's say uh, some of this subdivisions will have to be modified and and you will get you know w x y x z and then you'll go maybe a w here an x a w another x and then another push lower um you know, we'll see we'll see how how this pans out but some of these corrections can actually get get really really you know dreadful and and long uh but i think we're at the big important decision point in the altcoin market and um, you know you can see this in, in uh, you know almost on everything because they've been they've been correcting uh, their advance um, I was showing the members this morning uh, a chart on the relative rotation graph where actually on the weekly time frames you know a bunch of these alts are actually uh, starting to move into some improvement uh, but on the daily time frames you're actually having them um you know go through a period of weakness and of for correction so uh, i think we're going to get here a decision pretty pretty soon because if we're getting a rally out of these levels and we're starting to challenge those highs again then we're going to get into a much larger i think third wave or a secondary wave one uh to the upside but just to kind of uh, you know uh, uh, finalize this video guys this is what i'm watching that this is a pullback against this trend and let's say even if it's an A and then you're getting a B and then you're getting one more C, something like that, right? Uh, it's 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 quite possible that that's the case. You got it like that, you know. Then we're still watching for a break of that line and a push uh, to the upside uh, for a continuation much higher, like that. So that's that's my that's my you know that's my uh, my prediction here. Um, but then the market could break these levels and then. You know, then we're clearly sending us a message: Hey, your correction is not over yet, and you know, you 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 kind of got fooled by this move, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna continue lower. So we're gonna pay attention to that. Today we had a pretty good uh, you know rally in risk as well, and Nasdaq and the S and P five hundred. So we're watching these markets um, also in the pro room because we have we have to make these connections between the markets and kind of see what everything kind of fits in terms of risk and then take clues from different markets and then apply them to uh to crypto but um i forgot to tell you to subscribe to the channel and and you know take a two second break here and and um you know we're towards the end of the video and just hit the thumbs up button uh, leave me a comment let me know what you want to see next if you want to see more crypto if you want to see stocks if you want to see some etfs um, anything that you think it's interesting that uh, um, you know that maybe you struggle with let me know uh, you know your thoughts and um, hey, come in the program give us a try talk to me um, you know I'll, I'll be there to kind of help you through your early rate journey and um, you know answer your questions and you'll see my daily videos and everything we do there and um, you know I think you'll become a better trader for it so uh, with that being said guys I'll leave it at that and I'll be talking to you a bit later bye bye